Graham, 2-1 victory. What's your instant reaction to that? Uh, I'm disappointed, actually, that we didn't manage to control the game a little bit better towards the end. But for 70 minutes, I thought we were excellent. We really shifted the ball well, caused them lots of problems. Um, the, the bit, if we're going to be hypercritical, is we needed to get more goal-scoring opportunities and be more clinical. But the resolution, uh, sorry, the resolute nature of the players to go and get a win in difficult conditions against a strong team, I thought was fantastic towards the end. Albeit we didn't want it to get to that situation, they managed to see it out, so I was pleased for them. You mentioned the weather, they've had all sorts today. Do you think that was a big factor in the game? Then? It was, but they have to deal with it. It's just one of those things, so we just have to make sure that we go and make the game look like we want it to look. And for 70 minutes, I thought we were really slick. Passed the ball really well, had good shape, moved the ball one and two touch, and they couldn't actually... Um, presses as they would want so that was good um, but when it became a little bit frantic we lost a little bit of our shape and our structure that came when we took some, some of our senior players off um, because they got the minutes that they required and our younger players need to come on and, and match the standard that had already been set and they found that difficult but that's why we're doing this we're doing this to make sure they get exposed to this level they get stretched uh, and they increase their learning Game time today for Shields and Kelly after new deals. You must be delighted to get them signed up. They've been great. They've been great since I've been in the building. They've been great. Obviously, Craig's known them since we were very, very, very young. Um, but they're, they're good kids. They kind of extol the virtues that we want in Rangers players. They both deal with the ball well. They're both good young men um, that you, you like to have around the place. And we're just pleased to get them signed up because we think they've got a big future. Hopefully, they can keep on progressing and, and uh, they can see a pathway now to the first team. What do you think it was in terms of the last 10 minutes? Dun United had a lot of pressure. Do you think it was just a bit of complacency from your side? Or? No, I don't think it was complacency at all. I think it was just a little bit of us getting frantic because it was coming towards the final parts of the game. We got a little bit tired, a little bit sloppy with the ball and that allowed them to create pressure. And when they created pressure, we didn't react to it as I would like. We got a little bit more frantic, a little bit more slack with the ball and that's what's going to happen. But we have to make sure that when people apply pressure to us, we can deal with it physically, tactically, technically, but mentally more than anything else. I thought the mental side of it let us down but another part of the mental side came into it where they stood up to the physical challenge and put their bodies on the line I have to say Aidan McAdams made a fantastic save towards the end and got us the win Still early those in the season of course but are you happy with the progress that the side's making? I'm, I'm seeing lots of progress I'm seeing lots of learning and we've brought some younger players up today to make sure they get exposed to this, this kind of level um, but I, I see good understanding things that we want to implement tactically are now coming to fruition and we're seeing a much greater deal of composure in possession um, much more control of the ball and the tempo than we start, saw at the start of the season. Um, and we're seeing progression all the time. We just have to make sure that this isn't a highlight. We keep on pushing on from here. A trip to Warren next month. Are you looking forward to that for the squad? We are. The guys are really looking forward to the trips that we've been fortunate enough to see. We've been all over the place and it's been fantastic learning experiences for the guys. Uh, and we're going to go out there and, and hopefully put on a fantastic show because we know, hopefully, there'll be loads of people uh, coming and paying good money to come and see us play. So it's important that we continue to progress and put on a good performance. How important is that to keep the you know the, the team spirit that you've gone on more trips together? Well, it's good. They're learning how to be a professional footballer. Rather than uh, it be just academy football, they've got learning to be overnight they're learning to manage their energy they're learning that they can't afford to be on a playstation till four o'clock in the morning and all these things that the young people have nowadays that are that are testing their resources they know they have to be disciplined and it's good for them to go and see that professional side because when we go and see that what the first team are doing especially in europe they have to go and manage their resources properly they have to rest properly and recuperate and the young players are seeing that